what characterizes the Anthropocene epoch? Um, it's very difficult to, to, to say what characterizes it. The view is that the Anthropocene is characterized by um, human activity and human activity to the extent that humans are now influencing the natural environment more than natural systems. Um, but uh, the question is to what extent we are, we are uh, modifying the environment. So by modification I mean we, are, we have cleared the vegetation, cleared forests to make fields, uh, to grow our crops, we've domesticated animals, we've moved animals from one continent to another and, uh, and so on, or, or we've produced um, gases in the atmosphere which uh, are not naturally there. Um, as a consequence of our activities, our industry, etc. So um, the Anthropocene concept came about from people saying, well, yes, we recognize that uh, those activities have been going on a long time, and by that I mean thousands of years, but um, now uh, the proportion of that activity has reached such an extent that it's, um, it's replaced uh, the dominance of natural systems. Now our activities are dominating over natural systems. I think that's uh, uh, the point that was being made by Crutzen and Strömer uh, in 2000 when they, um, when they uh, initiated this idea. They suggested that, that, that things had changed to such a great extent that uh, we now appear to be living in a different era uh, compared to, uh, to the past. There are many signals which could be interpreted in this way and are being debated. The earliest that we have is um, a, a date around 14,000 years ago when humans started to colonize uh, other, uh, other regions of the earth and, um, and where uh, they started to kill uh, large vertebrate and large mammals. And we see this at different times on different continents but the oldest date which has been suggested was about 14,000 years ago. Others have suggested that we can use, we should be looking at periods such as when humans began clearing the vegetation to provide fields for agriculture, which is, you know, Neolithic in this part of the world, so uh, 4,000, 5,000 years ago. Others have suggested that we should use um, changes in the atmospheric uh, carbon dioxide levels um, which would occur at various times but one of the most critical would be in the um, in the 16th century uh, and then others have suggested and the most common one which has been suggested and was originally proposed by Crutzen and Stromer was the beginning of the Industrial Revolution which would have be about you know the 18th century mid 18th century um, that's fine for Western Europe, but uh, if we think of China or, or, or somewhere like uh, the Middle East, uh, we would have very different numbers for that one. Um, but the one which is most people are, are pointing to now uh, would be a, a boundary which, reflect, which occurs at the beginning of, of, of a reflection of the great increase in um, human activity, which is the so-called Great Acceleration. And this has been suggested by a gentleman called Stefan in Australia, he suggested that this should be uh, post Second World War. And um, a search has been on for uh, trying to identify a particular point where that could be, where that could be uh, uh, recognized in sedimentary and sequences around the world. And people have lighted upon the uh, volcanic uh, uh, activity and also more commonly to uh, nuclear bomb testing which began, of course, at the end of the Second World War uh, in the, the atmospheric bomb testing. And so there's radioactivity preserved in sediments. And that would give a date, well, between 1945 and, and, and 1952. So that would mean, actually, that, that you, we, we, it's only really the last 50, 60, 70 years which would be this period of, of, of Anthropocene if we adopted that date. Where it really makes a difference is for the communities beyond our subjects. So, uh, and by that I mean in the social sciences and in, and, and in history and, and allied uh, uh, 
studies because there you have you, you have the opportunity to use this word Anthropocene as a label for the uh, cultural activity which is reflected in human modification of a natural environment. So that's where I see this term being most useful. I think it's extremely difficult to use geologically because geology demands that we, we have a, a, a uniform time division for the whole period. That, that, that we, in other words, that the basal boundary is the same age everywhere on the planet. And that's a very tall order for the reasons we've already discussed. Whereas if we think of it as a cultural term like um, the Middle Ages or the Little Ice Age or something like this, we don't actually um, require that uh, boundary definition. We can allow the boundaries to be vague and, and to be different times in different parts of the world. And I think that's a much more, um, a much more uh, suitable solution for this, for this uh, discussion. But we'll see where it's going from here, really.